like some action movie equipment. We start by cutting a piece of paperboard and measuring a piece that's 3 fourths of an inch wide and about an inch and a quarter long. Cut out two. I drew a little notch at the front of it that was about half an inch long and then cut it out and do the same thing on the other piece. Cut a piece that's a little more than half an inch wide. Fold the piece into the notches and I also folded it and glued it on the front and on the bottom. I glue another piece going up the notch and fold it over the top and the back. I roll a small paper tube with another small lip at the front. Paint it. While waiting for it to dry, I add some more details to the main camera piece with paperboard. Once the lens piece is dry, I glue it onto clear plastic. Cut off the extra and glue it to the front. I cut out a rectangle with a hole in the middle and cut pieces to go on the sides and glue them on. Then I glue the back onto another piece of paperboard. I cut a circle hole on the back and paint it black. Glue it to the front. I stack and glue a couple little squares of paperboard. I cut another rounded rectangle shape and give it a few more layers. I glue the two pieces together and then glue them onto the camera. I stack and glue rectangles so that's pretty thick and then glue it on top of the camera. I cut a piece of a paper straw and put hot glue on the end and let it drip to make a rounded end. I glue a little piece of paperboard to the back and then glue it on top of the rectangle. I cut a piece for a handle and then glue it onto the top of the camera. Paint it, I start with a base coat of black and added a few more silver details to make the basic camera. To make a tripod for the camera, I cut out a circle of paperboard and cut three straws so that they're about three quarters of the length and then glue them to the bottom. Paint it to make a tripod stand. Put the camera to it with a piece of sticky tack. To make a movie camera with a tripod stand that can be removed from the stand. To make a teleprompter, I take a phone and measure a piece of paperboard that's about a little bit longer on both sides. I cut two strips that are as wide as the phone and glue them around the outside of the other piece that we cut. I should make kind of a tray for the phone to go inside. I cut off one of the sides so that the phone can fit in. I glue strips along the outside. I glue two straws to the back of it and then a piece of paperboard on the bottom. Oh. Paint it. You can type your prompt on notes and then fit it inside to make a teleprompter. To make a boom mic, I roll a paper tube around a thin paintbrush. Take a small piece of a paper straw and put glue on both ends to make it round. Glue it to the paper roll. I glue the rounded piece on and glue a piece of a toothpick to the back of it. Glue a thin piece of yarn or invertible floss onto it. To finish it off, I paint it black, add a thin piece of yarn, and paint a little silver accent to make a boom mic. To make a headset, I cut in half a toilet paper roll. I cut a strip off it. I make sure that the band can fit around my doll's head and reach her ears. Paint it. I cut two circles out of foam and glue them to the sides of the paper tube. I cut out the little plastic circle from an empty medicine thing and glue it to the outside. Paint it. I cut two circles of black foam and glue them on the insides. I'm painting another strip of paperboard and glue it to the edge for a microphone. To make a miniature headset. Print out this printable with the clapper being one and a half inches tall. To make a movie clipboard, I cut out the printable and glue it to a piece of cardstock. Give it a few more layers and then cut off the top clapper piece. I use a hole puncher on the holes closest to the edge and then stick a toothpick through both of them and glue it there to connect them so it can open and close. I glue a piece of clear plastic on top of the words part to make a clapboard that you can write on. To make a safety harness for when you're doing mid or movie shots, cut a piece off of the toilet paper roll and paint it black. I use a piece of tape to connect it to make it fit the size of my doll's waist. I glue on three pieces of yarn, one in the middle, one on the right, and one on the left, and then pull them up together and tie another piece at the top. Put the strings to a painted pole and put it in the movie studio, safety harness. To make the script, I cut out the pencil and use a hole puncher to punch holes in the corners and then use a small piece of string to tie them together.
thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you thought and what kind of videos you want to see. Also follow us on Instagram. See you next time! Whoa, I can fly. I should save the rest of that zero gravity potion. Cut. Someone get me down. I got you, Rhonda. Thanks, Stormer. Nice job on the set, by the way. Thanks, but I think this movie's cheesy. Yeah, it's lame. Icicle? Who let you in here? I snuck right by Evo. He's such a bad guard. Oh, hey, Rhonda. Summer says, Icicle, you weren't the guard? No, he's on break. Why? Because, uh, because, uh, the director let me in here. Said I'm so cool. Rhonda, Eva said you guys could go on break. Who's that? Brother Icicle. The one that destroyed an entire house in five minutes? That Icicle? I want him out. Sound man! Hmm? Escort him out. Gladly. Put me down, fool! Back to filming, guys! Well, that wasted our whole break. We better get hooked up to the harness again. Icicle? Quick, get me out of this rondo! I see Stormer! I see Stormer! Calm down, get I'll get out. you out, okay? Get me out! Get me out! Oh. Icicle! Oh. Rhonda, I can help you get. Oh. I'm saved! I'm saved! Ugh. Quiet on the set. Uh, howdy.